Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about where can you meet women when you're in isolation? And should you be meeting women when you're in isolation? If you're new to my channel, my name is Anna Jorgensen. I'm a dating coach for men in Vancouver, Canada. Welcome. Okay, let's get right into it. Pitfalls of dating when you're in isolation. Okay, reality check is that number one, it might not last. You might meet someone and be just so desperate and lonely and needing someone to be able to lean on that what you discover later on when you actually get together in the real world or when you spend more time in the real world, when all of this has passed, that you're just simply not compatible. So that's one potential risk, such as life. Number two, second risk is that if you've only met online, like let's say you're in complete lockdown and you've met online somehow, that when you actually do meet in person, there might not be that in-person chemistry. Pheromones really do actually play a role in whether or not we're attracted to a person. So what you can do with that is definitely try to FaceTime or Skype or Snapchat or what have you. So at least you get an idea of the other person's mannerisms. But when you are actually together in person in real life, it just might not be there. So that's just a reality that you might have to live with. And it happens way more for women not being attracted in person than it does for men. Believe it or not, men are actually more visual than women. So if you see a picture and she actually looks mostly like her picture or you see her mannerisms or what have you, and you meet her in person, as long as she's somewhat similar, you're probably still gonna have an attraction to her, but she may not, it may not be the same for her. And don't take that personally. Sorry, you will, but you shouldn't. Okay, and the third pitfall to dating in isolation is that it's kind of like a long distance relationship. You don't really know what their habits and their actions are like in the real world because you are confined to a very limited way of being with each other, which would be online. So you're not going to know if she treats, you know, servers with respect. You're not going to know what her daily habits are or, you know, if she gets cranky when the taxi doesn't show up on time. Those are things you're just not going to get to know unless you are actually spending time together in person out in the real world. So those are the risks. It's the same as with uh, long distance relationships, but you know, what are you going to do? You can wait. If you want to wait, there are some benefits to being in isolation and single, which I've done uh, a video on what you can do in isolation if you're single to improve your sexual market value or your relationship market value. But if you do want to move forward and meet women, how can you meet women in these crazy times? Well, of course, yes, you can meet women online, dating sites and dating apps. The benefit of meeting someone on a dating site or dating app right now is that they might not be someone who normally would be on a dating site or dating app right now. They might be actually a person who meets someone in the real world. And now because that option is not available, then they're actually going online. And oftentimes the ones who don't usually go online are higher value. Sorry, people who use dating sites a lot. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, okay, well, man, I'm just going to stick with that. So if you go online right now, there's going to be an array of different people who are not usually online, online in terms of dating sites or dating apps. Side note tip for that is to stipulate what you're looking for in a relationship, not with that particular person, but put somewhere in your profile, like I'm just into casual, I'm actually really just looking for, you know, potential long term partner, and I'm not into casual, stipulate what you're actually looking for once you can get back into the real world, because that will filter out people who are not looking for the same thing you are. And if you're really brave, then you might also put a little tidbit about your belief systems about what's happening in the world right now. Because while different beliefs and values can potentially match up, a lot of times they don't. So you'll find out if someone has the same ideas about what's going on right now as you do, or can accept your ideas. It's kind of like, it's kind of like saying, Am I a Republican or am I a Democrat? If you say that, you're going to filter out a whole bunch of people who will just not accept your choice of political views. And same thing with the virus. If, like if you're like full on conspiracy theory and yada yada versus you completely believe it's just a natural course of biology and we should all be afraid or whatever, if your beliefs are completely separate on those two issues, you might have a difficult time being compatible in other areas and values of your life. So put it out there if it's important to you. If not, then maybe leave it out. Okay, and then... Ooh. 
moving on, the third place that you can meet people if you're able to go out is actually out in the real world. You wouldn't even believe I, where I'm in Canada, so I'm not in full lockdown. It's just suggested self-isolation, but it's nice out. I go for a walk. I generally see, <laughs> I've seen four couples, three on a first date and one on a second date. And I asked them, like, I'm like, I can see them coming towards me. I'm like, oh yeah, those guys are on a first date. As many guys on a first date. Yeah. And then I was like, second date. That was a good one. Cause second date, that's pretty tricky. They're like, how'd you know we were on a second date? Well, you know, the distance between people and the body language. But anyways, total side note there. So people are dating in the real world right now. And actually, I even got approached like a couple weekends ago. I was walking my roommate's dog and this other guy was walking his dog and he just started up a conversation. And here's what you'll notice right now is that people are longing for connection because we need connection. That's what we need. So if you are out in the real world and you are allowed to be, of course, then people are more amenable to striking up conversation if they don't have a mask on. What I've learned is the friendliness factor is determined by whether or not they're wearing a mask. Now, they may be, if they're wearing a mask, they may be protecting themselves, they may be protecting you, but in all likelihood, they're less open to meeting someone new right now because they're being careful. And if they're not wearing a mask, I've found that a lot of people who are not wearing masks right now are definitely more willing to talk. You just have to make sure you're staying, you know, six, seven feet apart. You can still have a conversation. So you can meet people out there right now. And the people who are not wearing masks are more likely to be open to having a conversation. So definitely, if you can go out in the real world, if you have a dog or you can borrow a dog, that's a really great way to meet women who also have a dog because the dogs will interact. And then you're kind of like standing there going, So you have to have a conversation. So it's just really good to be able to connect with other people, even if you're not asking somebody out. But that is a good way to potentially meet someone and potentially ask them out, even if you're just going to go for a walk together or have coffee together and actually get to know each other. And if you want the bonus round, I'm going to go through really quickly the benefits of isolation in itself. So one, there's less pressure from yourself and others to date and find love now. So awesome, less pressure. Number two, you have time to figure yourself out. Maybe now's the time to find out what has kept you stuck from finding love. Wake up to love. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Okay, number three, along those lines, it's a great time to stop focusing on finding love and start focusing on self-development. Number four, if you do go dating right now, or if you meet someone or If you choose not to at all and you just want to wait it out, there's no pressure for physical contact. You don't have to stress yourself out about whether or not you should kiss her or touch her. You shouldn't right now. Number five, as mentioned in my other video, you get to know the real person before being influenced by the physical. Number six, in general, you will forever after appreciate what you now take for granted, all our freedoms. I bet you you're missing those. When we get those back eventually, you will so appreciate that. Number seven, there is a sense of community because we're all in this together and there's sort of a sense of wanting to connect. So it's like now we're allowed to talk to strangers again and they won't be all like, what are you talking to me? Again, if they're wearing a mask, maybe avoid. Number eight. Number eight was the sense of community. I tied that in with the last one. Okay, never mind. Number nine. You have time to catch up on productive and unproductive chores and activities. So it doesn't have to be all about work. And that's actually a really good thing that hopefully we will all take into this once we go back into whatever our normal lives are going to look like after this, that it's not all about striving for more and being productive and using all your time to accomplish things. It's important to balance your life. And number 10. You will learn to live with less because you may have to right now. And that's a good habit to get into so that when you finally do start making money again, hopefully you're not completely destitute and you'll be able to be in the habit already of living within your means, which also allows you to save for a rainy day or a thunderstorm or a freaking whatever this is. So there are benefits. Take advantage. Watch my other video. Watch my video on how to increase your market value by doing stuff at home alone and comment below because you want to. Thanks.